Let's talk about Amazon EKS Auto Mode, an all new feature that's changing the way that customers work with their Kubernetes workloads on AWS. Now, Kubernetes is fantastic for giving its users uh, an advanced amount of control with exactly how their applications run and operate, but with that control comes a level of complexity. Now, today, Amazon EKS manages the control plane aspect of Kubernetes for you but there's a number of components in what we call the data plane that users have to manage on their own. Now, before we dive straight into what auto mode does, let's talk about uh, some of that complexity, some of, that, uh, some of those capabilities that users are managing on their own. And we'll start with compute. Now, on the compute side, this includes things like instance lifecycle management, you know, EC2 instances, uh, as well as operating system updates and patching for those instances, uh, in addition, instance selection itself, which instances do you want to use using Graviton and Spot and auto scaling of those to make sure that you're being efficient. And customers may be using tools like Carpenter here. Let's keep moving. Uh, next, let's talk a bit about networking. Now, on the networking side, customers need to manage things like pod to pod networking as well as exposing their applications on the public internet. Uh, so load balancers, the CNI, DNS, that kind of thing. And so there's a number of capabilities and add-ons that make this easier, but these are also things that the user manages today. Okay, let's keep on moving. Uh, talk a bit about storage. So things like CSI drivers, container storage, interface drivers, uh, enable users to set up uh, persistence for stateful workloads in Kubernetes. Um, so that's something that users manage today. Uh, let's keep moving. Observability. So the ability to uh, see what's going on with your instances, troubleshooting issues, repairing issues, um, that kind of thing. And lastly, let's make kind of a bigger bucket here of what I'll say is open source software and everything else that users might be managing today. So this includes uh, the wide landscape of open source tools in the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCF, uh, which is a big reason why users love Kubernetes. In addition, any agents they might be running, you know, third-party observability tools, that kind of thing, and maybe they need a service mesh, so they're using something like Istio as well. Okay, so that kind of covers the, the data plane aspect. There's more detail here, but that's about as deep as I want to get today, uh, and this underpins where customers spend most of their time, and that is the application layer. And really, that, that is where they want to spend most of their time, because that's where the innovation is. And most of everything else is sometimes seen as ongoing and undifferentiated work. Here's where auto mode comes in. Let's toggle this on. So with auto mode, you can see that we're now managing more of the data plane for you. So shifting that responsibility over to AWS. By the way, auto mode can be used on new and existing clusters as well. So let's see what it looks like with auto mode enabled. On the compute side, auto mode uses uh, an upstream compatible version of the Carpenter controller, meaning you can continue to use your Carpenter configurations. That's going to help with things like EC2 instance selection, make it easier than ever to use spot instances, Graviton instances. In addition, things like operating system patches and updates that's now on us. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's keep moving down the stack here for networking. Uh, these core capabilities, uh, you know, including the add-ons that you see here, uh, are going to be managed on your behalf. For storage, uh, CSI drivers that enable you to connect up uh, persistence for stateful workloads are going to be managed for you. Uh, on the observability side, you have out-of-the-box capabilities to troubleshoot your infrastructure, monitor the health, that kind of thing. And so what you see here, you have Amazon EKS clusters that are ready for production use cases. By the way, uh, this is just a snapshot into EKS Auto Mode to see the latest list of what's supported. Check the links in the description below. And we're always listening to customers for feedback uh, and potentially expanding the purview of Auto Mode uh, to cover additional things. So please leave us your feedback in the comments below and check the links in the description as well. Now, I have this last bucket here in a different color because you know this continues to be supported on Amazon EKS. Of course, uh, with auto mode, it's still Kubernetes conformant, 
and you'll continue to manage these as you would with any Kubernetes environment. One thing I want to mention here, so for things like the Carpenter controller, you no longer have to worry about managing a dedicated node just for Carpenter. In fact, for all of these core capabilities, you don't have to worry about the compute that's going to be managed for you. For EKS upgrades, you still get to decide when you want to roll out uh, an upgrade. And so when you bump that control plane up, any new instances that join your cluster are gonna be the latest version. And for your existing instances, they'll be updated gradually. For all of these core capabilities, those are gonna be managed for you through upgrades as well. Okay, let's summarize. With EKS Auto Mode, we're improving your overall agility, right? So essentially helping you reduce the amount of time you spend on operations. Next, we're improving your overall uh, security posture, your resiliency, your applications availability and performance. So let's call this production grade. And that is going to improve. And lastly, when we talk about cost and optimizing costs, obviously with Carpenter, as well as the host of other capabilities here, uh, the goal here is that we continually optimize your costs, bringing down your overall spend. Today, you can get started with EKS Auto Mode uh, on new or existing clusters, and you can use the EKS API, CLI, EKS Cuddle, or your favorite infrastructure as code tools. Try it out, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.